This is a video about that demonstrates an application of a hyperbola. Um, two buildings in a sports complex are shaped and positioned like a portion of the branches of a hyperbola. And they give us an equation for it that describes it. It says in this equation, X and Y are in meters. And then it asks us a couple of questions. Let's look at the equation for a second. We would know right off the bat that this is a hyperbola because two things are squared and there's a minus sign in the middle. So the standard form of a hyperbola is x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. That's the standard form when it's centered at the origin. So if we want to get our equation into standard form, we need to get a 1 over here. So we need to divide every body by 250,000. So 250,000. 250,000. So that gives us x squared over, let's see, if I simplify that fraction, 250,000 divided by 400 is 625 minus y squared over, this is going to be 400 is equal to 1. Okay, now this is in standard form and I can see that a is the square root of 625, which is 25. So I can say A is 25. Okay. I can say B, if the square root of 400, is 20. And so we know that that is the um, vertical distance and the horizontal distance from the center. So they gave us this nice picture here. So we know our parabola is oriented, um, it's symmetric, uh, about a horizontal axis and that's because X is leading. Um, so if this is our center and this is our hyperbola, from the center to the vertices is A and um, I can draw this and that will help me figure out what I have to answer. I'm going to do a quick sketch of this guy. It's centered at the um, origin. Okay, so I'm going to go um, right uh, 25 and left 25. And then I'm going to go up 20 and down 20. And this is not to scale, but it, here's my little um, rectangle I can draw. Here are the asymptotes I can draw. And here is the curve. And I just needed to do this so I could talk about what they want me to answer. So these are the vertices, right? And everything lies in line with, with the vertices. Um, it says, how far apart are the buildings at their closest point? At their closest point, this would be the closest point from here to here. And so this is the horizontal di distance, so that's A and that's A. So the closest they will ever be is A plus A or 2 times A. Well, we figured out that A is 25, so 2 times A is 50. And they say that X and Y are in meters, so 50 meters is the closest these two buildings will ever be um, from each other. Then part B says, find the distance D in the figure to the nearest tenth. Now, I gotta look at this picture and I'll tell you what the D says. It says, D is this vertical distance across one of the branches right here. But they give me the point, they say from, from this to this point is 50 meters. Okay, well that's 50 meters um, across the X. So if I have this point on my parabola, this would be, X would be 50, X would be 50, and we don't know what Y is. So we have an equation and we can plug in all those numbers and solve for Y. So let's do that. Let's see, 50 squared, so we have 50 squared over 625 is equal to y squared over 400 is 1. Um, actually, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to use the equation they give me. That looks easier to plug it into. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say 400 times 50 squared minus 625 times y squared is 250 I'm going to solve for y squared. So, let's see. 50 squared times 400 
is, let's see, that is one, two, three. It looks like it's a million. So I'm going to subtract that over here. So negative six, two, five, y squared. gives me negative seven, five, oh, 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 oh. And then I'm gonna divide both sides by 625 and I get y squared is 1200. And then I'm gonna take the square root of that answer and that's gonna give me that y is 34.6 meters. This distance d, however, is y plus y. So I'm going to multiply that number by 2. And so it's going to tell me the width across this branch is going to be, for answer B, is about 69.3 meters. And that's how you would answer that one.